Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at how to create a song project, an individual song project. So, uh, what you're going to do is when you're uh, in Ableton Live, um, we're going to open up a song project template that's down here in your, make sure you click on Dropbox and then, then all our Ableton templates will show up here. And we've got Ableton song template, click on that. And now you've got everything you need right away to start uh, putting to get a song together. Uh, just kind of review some of these things here. We've got uh, some of these tracks going down. You've got the markers track. What that's going to be is just in a way you can uh, use these um, kind of blank clips to you know type in verse, chorus, things like that. That'll scroll across and you can see where you are at all times within the song. Um, you've got this track is your quarter notes. Uh, right in along with that are the eighth notes. The uh, at you know click as well. Guide the guide track. That's going to be where um, you know our famous lady that uh, says one, two, three, four, and brings us in. Tempo. We're going to look at this in a second, but this will set your tempo for each song, and it will store the tempo when you drag it into um, when you want to you know drag in several songs. Uh, this is a way to keep the the tempo of each song intact. Then we get our audio, more of our audio tracks. We've got our percussion, um, which include like drums, um, any percussive effects like uh, sound effects, swooshes, things like that. We go here. There are uh, this is a group, and there are like five spots to put in different percussion or sound effects, things like that. Uh, same. Here's the next group: bass or synth bass. Uh, there's two spots here for like a bass guitar or any synthesizer, bass synthesi synthesizer, things like that. Uh, the next group, there are seven spots for guitars, uh, acoustic guitar tracks, electric guitar tracks, things like that. Moving on down, you've got 12 spots to put any piano, synthesizer, organs, tracks right there. And finally, miscellaneous instruments. That could be anything from a violin, cello, strings, glockenspiel, bells, harp, whatever. Anything that doesn't fall within you know, those categories here, you've got five spots to put WAV files for those kind of instruments. So, we've covered that. Now what we want to do when we're creating a song, first of all is we want to um, uh, set our tempo. Now I'm going to use the song Healer from the Carrie Joe version, and I know that um, that tempo, I've went on you know, multi-tracks and found out that the tempo they've set those tracks to is 78 beats per minute. So what you want to do is click on this red tempo thing, this uh, tempo clip, this uh, clip view will open up down here and you want to go to this thing where it says um, BPM, segment BPM, and set it at the right tempo. You can either type it in or you can click on it and move your mouse up and down. Uh, it was already at 78. I'm going to move it back down to 78. And uh, once it's there, I click. Uh, the master might be on. Click it so it's off. It'll say slave and then click it back on again. Give it a couple seconds in between each click just to make sure it stays there and now our tempo is set. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Dropbox area, go to Multitracks where we've uh, we've uploaded um, Healer from Kerry Joe. There it is right there and you've got the Multitracks. I'll just kind of drag it out here and you've got this Multitracks. You can open up and you can see all the different kinds of instruments. So what we're going to do is just essentially just drag these into the different spots. So let's just kind of go in order. We've got our percussion um, and drums. Uh, where we let's see what kind of drums we got. We've got we've got drums. We just drag it over there. And do we have any percussion instruments? We've got loops. Any loop you can put in there. That'll sound good. And I believe that covers us for drums and loops. Moving on to bass. We've got a we we do have a bass. Drag it over there. It shows up. Any synth bases? No. We move it on down. Click that back up. Now guitars. We've got several guitars. Uh, Putting the acoustic guitar first, just just because. Yeah. And um, so we've got a couple other areas. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six good electric guitars. So we have just enough spots for um, electric guitars. I missed two. So again, just. Click it and drag it over. That's all there is to it. 
<clears throat> guitars, uh, organs, pianos, organs. Uh, usually start with the piano first. Okay, organ and keyboards. No keyboards. So we close that out and then we go to strings. We've got a string track that'll go into our miscellaneous file. And we are set there. So now what we begin doing, now we've got all those spots set up, is um, now we create our guide. Uh, this can be, uh, this might be a little on the time consuming side here. I have to kind of know the song and know what's coming up. But I'll just show you real quick what's going on. Um, First, zoom zoom in a little bit because we'll have our count in. Usually, uh, we always give like a two measure count in. Um, and right here on beat three, we'll, I'll have her say intro, and then we'll count in one, two, three, four. What you need to do to get all your uh, to get, bring the lady in here is uh, click your guide wave files. Again, we're in Dropbox guide wave files, and find scroll down to find intro. It's all in alphabetical order. So intro wave, I'll put that in beat three. And then I find our, um, this is a slow song, so we'll do slow one, two, three, four. This is like individual words. One, two, we drag them right into the spots. That one got moved over. What just happened? Yeah. And So now we have we click up here and it says she says intro, intro one, one two, two three, three four. four and it goes into the next spot so you'll do that throughout the song for each section and you can that way you can customize it to whatever you need to customize it to if you need reminders for like breakdowns build ups things like that you have all you got all kinds of um, things you can say in there. So that's good for band singers and everything to help reminders. Now, move up to the markers area. And what you want to do, I've got this turquoise color. And whatever you, whatever, whatever you want to add into here, you just go, you click on the clip. And the clip view opens up. Go to this area here. And you can type in whatever you want to type in. Intro. And it shows up there. You can even give if you're if your place is long enough. You can even give um, you know specific things like you know piano soft things like that. So that things that might be a characteristic of a particular section. So that's helpful again for <clears throat> rehearsals, uh, run throughs, things like that. If you may need to jump to a particular section quickly and rehearse a particular section quickly, and uh, that can help with things like that. Once this is all done, you click, you go to Save Live Set As, and then store it in Ableton, store it in Ableton Song Projects in the Dropbox. Give it the title. Take the cap locks off for me here. Healer. And we'll just kind of put in the Job version here just to help us out with that. And hit save. And you're set to go. You go to Ableton Song Projects. And there you are. It'll be down there. You'll click on that and, and that particular song will open up. So that's how to create an individual song project.